Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Agnes Parish. We have the following announcements. Please add Mark Libram to the bulletin's prayer corner. Please pray for the repose of the soul of Alice Ivkovich, who passed away recently. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. <clears throat> Attention, all lectors and potential lectors, if you are a lector or feel called to be a lector, we will have mandatory sessions, including a time for reflection and training for all lectors on Thursday, February the 2nd, after benediction at 6.15 p.m., and Saturday, February the 18th, after the Saturday morning mass. The training will not last more than one hour. Please attend one of these two sessions. If you have questions, contact Deacon Bill. Attention all extraordinary ministers and potential extraordinary ministers. We will have mandatory trainings, including time for reflection and training for all EMS on Saturday, February the 4th, after the morning mass, and Thursday, February the 9th, after benediction at 615. Please attend one of these two sessions. For existing EMs, the session will last less than an hour. For new EMs, we will stay for a few additional minutes. If you would like to be an extraordinary minister of the Eucharist, come to one of the sessions or contact Deacon Bill. It's fish fry time again. We need volunteers. Please see today's bulletin for more details. Volunteer forms are in the narthex on our website and in today's bulletin. Please note one change. We will be pre preparing the food Tuesday mornings as well as Friday mornings, not Wednesday mornings this year. Sign up today. Thank you. Please take a moment to check your electronic devices to make sure they are in silent mode. Please stand and together let us recite the prayer for pregnant mothers. O oh, blessed mother, you received the good news of the carnation of Christ, your son with faith and trust. Grant your protection to Let's start again. O oh, blessed mother, you received the good news of the incarnation of Christ, your son, with faith and trust. Grant your protection to all pregnant mothers facing difficulties. Guide us as we strive to make our parish community places of welcome and assistance. Our, no. Help us become instruments of God's love and compassion. Mary, Mother of the Church, graciously help us build a culture of life and a civilization of love together with all people of goodwill to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday in ordinary time. Our gathering song can be found in Gather Number 848, gather us in. Happy. 
been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in the rich and the haughty, gather us in the proud and the strong, give us a heart so meek and so lonely, give us the courage to enter the song. Good afternoon, everyone. We now celebrate the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. And in this Mass, we offer this for Herky and Joyce Rosudo, as requested by Ross and Michelle Locke. We also include in our prayers those who ask for healing, those listed in our prayer corner. And we continue asking God to help them uh, gain the needed healing in their lives. So let us praise God today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever first, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind, and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Seek the Lord, all you humble of the earth, who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Perhaps you may be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is there. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up the who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the The fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peace of the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Sermon of the Mount is where our Lord Jesus Christ gave his... Uh, uh, understanding of how indeed we move forward in this life. It seems that our Lord Jesus Christ is giving preference to those who have that love of, of uh, being docile in following uh, what was commanded of them. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they who mourn. Blessed are they meek. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness. These are, these are the things that somehow, uh, if we are going to look at it in, in, in a different direction, we will find that it is the opposite of suffering. And this is the things that somehow uh, gives something for us to be happy in this world. For it is by that giving of oneself to God that we will indeed find happiness in many, in many ways. But you see, suffering, my brothers and sisters, is always present in each and every one of us. We cannot do away with that. But Accepting our sufferings, we will be able uh, to see the light of truth of, of how we can always follow our Lord Jesus Christ. The Jews, especially uh, when they look at suffering, especially in the book of Job, they will, they, you will find there that through suffering, 
Job accepted his suffering. It is, it is the start of his enlightening towards uh, founding his happiness. Read the book of Job. It's very important. For the Hindus, suffering is attributed uh, to the sins that you have committed. There will always be karma in your life. And when you are uh, resurrected again or when you get another life, your suffering will come back again. And it is by that that uh, you have to find your, that your true meaning in, in those kind of things that you will be able to transcend your suffering. It's always the same. But how about the Lord Jesus Christ in finding uh, in our sufferings we will find true happiness in it. We will find that the, the Spirit is indeed docile to the promptings of the Holy Spirit to come forward and accepting all these kind of things. And we will find ourselves in, in, in the hands of God. That is what our Lord Jesus Christ is trying to convey in this sermon. And it is where our uh, life must revolve. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, when there are many difficulties that come along our way, it's very hard for us to get out from that. There are many, th many times that we uh, blame God for our sufferings. We blame God for the difficulties that we are uh, experiencing. But deeper there in our sufferings, can we find ourselves in line with the thoughts of Jesus that if we are with him, sufferings will turn into happiness. Just like perhaps when he died on the cross and resurrected and be with God the Father at the very end in his resurrection, proclaiming that there indeed the true happiness lies to be with God, the Father, the very end. You see, my brothers and sisters, this is what we have to look forward to, to be with God, the Father, in the very end. Now, we will find ourselves in so many ways, as I said, in so many difficulties that comes along our way. But how are we going to cope up with these difficulties in our lives? How are we go along? Our Lord Jesus Christ suggests the, the words blessed here, the real uh, word being used in Greek was makarios. That Greek word in, in an ordinary sense of that word, it means happy. It says here, happy are the poor, translated in that way. Happy are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Why? Because you will know that your, your uh, deficiency in understanding things, you will find the hand of God cultivating uh, the, the, the values of the spirit within you you will be able to find yourself seeing uh, the unseeable, or the, the unseen. You will see the beauty of God within those things if one is able to open oneself in this uh, uh, way that God is teaching you or letting you see. You see, my brothers and sisters, how about, blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Very human. Very human in a way 
that we can always look forward when there is sadness, there will be uh, something that we can learn. When somebody dies in our family, isn't it? We mourn. We are so sad because that person who died loves, we love him that oh her that much. Sometimes the value of the person we only realize, we only uh, be able to appreciate when that person dies. When he is living or he or she living, seldom we see the value of that person. For we continue to value ourselves, not the other. You see the, the difference, my brothers and sisters? We mourn with our beloved dad because there is something in our beloved dad that helped us in a way. If we're able to understand that, indeed, happy are those who mourn for they can value life in themselves. You see, my brothers and sisters, these are the things that somehow uh, elude us in understanding. But there are many things more. I invite you to, to come and see the beauty of what our Lord Jesus Christ said in his sermon in that mountain. Try to dig deeper. Maybe one or two here. It is by you that you will be able to see things. It is that experiential uh, relationship between you and God that will, you'll be able to say, Aha! I found the truth. Nobody can tell you that. It is you. It is that personal understanding of being with God. It's the true source of happiness. Not in any way in any, any other thing more. Some may find happiness in a superficial way in material things, but those are, uh, those things wanes. It never stays. Find happiness in a spiritual way, and those are the things that stays. And you will, if you remember all these kind of things, you will always have a happy heart for those are the things that matters most. So my brothers and sisters, I hope each and every day we will find ourselves, though there are so many challenges that comes along our way, find the truth upon ourselves. Find that that happiness in that relationship with our Lord, not just our Lord Jesus Christ, but with God our Father Himself, the one who created us. Find the 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 happiness when the Spirit leads us, who leads you towards something that will always help you understand yourself. That's the way that we can always look forward into this life. And I hope each and every day, we will always have that kind of idea, that kind of understanding, looking at things in life. Let us just pray then with one another, my brothers and sisters, for there are many things that might happen to us, but opening ourselves to that grace of God Maybe asking uh, for the grace of understanding. We will always look forward to see the beauty within our sufferings and be able to find happiness through that along the way. Just like our Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be done, as he said in the cross. Let it be done according to thy word. Maybe for us too. Let it be done according to your will, dear Father. And I hope we find happiness in those, in those words.
let us express our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified with the bones of Spider. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Let us take refuge in the Lord and offer our petitions in His holy name. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may make of His church a humble and lowly remnant who takes refuge in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that God's justice may move all nations and peoples to observe his law and do no wrong. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who suffer from any burden may receive reassurance of comfort and love from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Jesus may help each one of us live faithfully and eagerly the life of discipleship. Let us pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, especially Herky and Joyce Pizzuto, may they enjoy eternal peace and happiness before the throne of God. Let us pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, through your Son, you promised blessing and redemption. Hear and answer the prayers we bring before you. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our song during the presentation of gifts can be found in Gather, number 828, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace, 828.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift him up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal mm -hmm. beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in what chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Larry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection in all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. bread. And forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. This be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
para o cross. Our communion song can be found in Breaking Bread, number 740, Oh, How Blessed, number 740. From Breaking Bread, let us continue singing number 371, Beautiful is Your Love, number 371.
before I give the final prayer, just, just, I would just would like to express our grateful hearts here in our parish for the uh, online viewers. Thank you so much uh, for the support that the online viewers uh, extend. But as you see, we no longer have COVID and we would like everyone to come into our church. So if you are an online viewer, uh, you can uh, join us in celebrating the Masses here in St. Agnes. We hope to see you soon here in our uh, parish, in our church. Secondly, uh, I would like to acknowledge those who have uh, wedding anniversaries. Anyone? For the month of January, those who have wedding anniversaries. Please stand and we will bless, we will pray for you. I would like to invite everyone to extend their hand for a prayer for them. Lord God and Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning, you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise blessed these unions so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness of them today and with the joys and struggles of their life. You have preserved the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant, increase your love in them, and strengthen their band of bees so that surrounded by their children, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Okay, please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, through faith may ever increase, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Endure thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, may the power of God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass ascended. Let us all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed weekend, everyone. You too, Father. Thank you. From Breaking Bread, let us go for singing number 739. Lead me, Lord, number 739. Blessed are the poor in spirit.